okay this tutorial is all about setting up the effects um, the reverbs basically for vocals in the XA app I want to say that uh, a recent subscriber of mine actually thought it should have touched more on that which I didn't in one of my videos and he said that the effects sounded very hollow and it's not good um, so I did some research I did a lot of trying to set up my system to see how I could get to record the output of this here and be able to send it back to OBS to get it work it was a challenge but I think I got it now so first thing I was able to find out with doing it is that if you're gonna use the effect as an insert which is right here on your vocals coming in I'm using a condenser mic I was trying to use a couple of different mics but didn't happen and with the effects the insert sorry this is something and the actual There's no way to control the wet and dry signal and these effects the way it's set up for live um, mixing or probably even recording. It's, it, to me, it just doesn't sound right. Let me do it again. As an answer, that is, that is my vocals going completely through this reverb unit here and out to my means which it doesn't work I, I cannot control it even with this level here this just control the level of the reverb but what I find is that you, you, you go into your effects bus now when I send this reverb I have my I can hear my drive voice and the amount of reverb to the back and I can determine how low or how high I want it to be then in the actual I can mess with the settings the pre-delay I can lower the decay even though I'm adding substantial more send I'm sending my vocals now to this reverb and I can mix it to blend it back with the music what you can see is that um, I can change the size of the plate I could change the size of the decay but still I have control over how much I send and how much is coming back to the main mix which which is good that's the way it, it, it should be done um but from inserting it on and that's like putting this effect between the vocals and your master out but you don't have no control over it that way you see like this there's no more dry signal it's all wet so there's no more dry signal all wet whereas here I can control how much so I could have all my vocals going to bus the FX one get the general setting and then send each individual person into it accordingly if I had let's say four vocalists I can all send them to this effects bus with various amount of effects let's say these three here back in vocals I can put less effects on those and have a little more on my main but then everybody is sounding like when they're in the same room or I could also put them the the BVs. Let's say these here was back in vocals. Um, B. B. 
v1 um bv2 So um, let's say I have three other people here who are singing. This is my lead. I can decide to not even send them to this. I could basically set up a second revolve, which is an effects bus two. And then in this case, let's say I put in there on putting them on a delay which is this is effects um, number two number one is this one here that's this one and number two is this one so now in that event if I had it on but I'll send my voice to it um, I could have these guys here coming to the delay and not even have them on on this one that I'm on so as the lead vocalist I could be in this rich reverb which is this one here and on you see my BVs they are not sent to this at all and this then I'll send them I'm sending the three of these guys. Now I'm sending them to the delay. Well, I'm only using one microphone. So to show you how that would sound, I will go back to effects one and turn that off. And then I go to effects two and I'm sending now myself into what I would send my backup singers too so I can have my backup singers on effects bus number two while I can have my lead vocalist only on effects one which is the reverb or in this scenario that you're hearing right now if I'm the lead vocalist I have a bit of reverb and I have a bit of delay so I can still say for instance that I would send more of my lead vocals to the reverb and a small amount to the delay and I can have my background singers send more to the delay and of her hair I could even give them a small amount of reverb so that's another combination and I can um, also tweak my delay for the guys who want to delay because you could also tweak these settings and save them and save your own presets that you make also with the reverb I can do that so I can save and load these back along for my session that I'm, I'm gigging at so these whatever I name my scene I can set this up I think I can also instead of loading individual um, effect setting I think if I'm working with a standard setting, let's say I tweak this one like this, let's say, and I tweak this one, so I'm just random tweaking. I think when I save the scene, the entire scene, and load the scene, now I'm if, if I'm if this is the revolve I want to use for the night for 
my gig and this is the delay I'm using. Once I save the scene, I think the scene will save with these settings. I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do it in a way where it's easier to see when I bring it back. So I have it all set like this. And what can I do here to see if it's gonna work? I'll set these two down. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna save my scene on my desktop as verb and let's see save that so I have saved this entire scene on my desktop as verb and let's see if I can load another scene I think I have some scenes that I was using before Okay, so I'm gonna load the scene and see what's happening. So let's see if okay so um, what I was able to prove is that in it did load back my scene with the okay so now okay they, they took a while to show up though so yes it did load the scene and load the setting that was actually part of the scene so I can save the entire scene and capture my settings global settings for these units which I had it like this and I had all of these down so um, as well as I could have saved this reverb setting by itself and load it after I've loaded the scene or this delay setting and load it after I have loaded the scene so that is very good to know but okay so I'm gonna go back to my delay my reverb one two one two check one two so to sum it up I'm here in effects one and I'm sending my signal I could send it much dry to wet ratio and I can go into this and actually tailor my song how I would want it to play the song when I'm mixing when I'm mixing my reverb settings rather than and you could hear this is song in good um, let me try another delay ambient delay one two check so there's a couple um, presets that are already there with the reverb. So to show you now, I'm gonna take off these guys from the effects send, and I go to the main and I insert this reverb. So you hear by inserting the reverb as an insert, it doesn't work the right way. I can change well I still have a hollow sound and I can change it but you would notice that in that setting it just doesn't work the way it's supposed to rather than having it as a send effect so you basically want to set up your whole vocal revolves or delays as send effects not inserts 
it just doesn't sound right. Um, you can hear the difference. Right now I'm on, let's get rid of this. This is a delay. One, two, check. Yeah, one, two, two. One, two. So you can see that, um, let me go over to my effects two. One, two. Go to my number one, take that reverb out. And wait, am I getting any? Oh, oh I'm sorry. One, two. Delay. What am I doing wrong? Let's see. Did I change anything over here? My delays were there. Um, let's see. Number two. Effects. So even I got all the last there just now. My effects two is supposed to be my delay and I'm getting signal. It's not going out to the main. Can't figure out what I did wrong. Let me see if I can figure out what I'm doing wrong. One, two. So I'm getting signal there. I didn't mess with my settings down here. I can see. One, two, it's getting it there. One, two, one. Let's see what happened in there. One, two, one, two. Okay, so I got lost in the mix. Um, one, one two, two, check. check. So that it affects one. Which is reverb. This reverb. Verb. Yeah. One, two. One, two. Check. But main. Okay, so let me change this to the delay and see what's going on. One, two. Check. For some reason, when it put on effects two. I couldn't, I couldn't the, the signal, signal going, going to, to it, it. But, 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 but I'm not I'm getting not anything. anything so, so I'll go, go back to back effects, effects one. one that's done go to my effects two one two one two one oh maybe it is set and I forgot it one two one two one two Maybe I changed some settings there, but anyhow, one, two. So, I got a little sidetrack, but to get back to the point, you can see that it's better to use your effects not as an insert, but as a send, send, send. You hear the delay going from left to right. Now as an insert. One. One. Two. One, two. So the delay signal coming back by itself. But the dry signal. You wouldn't hear. spoke about you do not want to use your reverbs as inserts now your delays or anything you want to use them as send effects I hope this could clear up things as far as using your reverbs and delays as send effects rather than insert effects